Hi, um, semi-competent DIY person here. Um, I've just discovered something that I didn't know um, and this might help. Some of you might be in the same sort of situation. Um, I recently bought some really nice Patras boxes um, that are made out of Bakelite. There's a company on the front if you want to see that. And basically uh, these are gorgeous. They're really, really nice and they've got really nice um, fronts as well uh, for the for the uh, go on to the patris and i just thought these are really nice and got a bit really nice in my summer house however um when i opened them what i discovered was there's no breakout holes at the bottom so i mean really usually you get breakout holes on like metal um sockets like that see the bottom there two holes ready to be punched out however the problem with these is there are no breakout holes you can obviously use the the, the clip outs at the back see the clip outs at the back the problem is I wanted to use conduit black flexible conduit to go into this so what I've done is I've managed to find a way and I looked on the web and I couldn't really really couldn't find much about this they talked about all sorts of drilling techniques but I have found a way of producing uh, reasonably neat holes not perfect but without cracking the Bakelite that's the main thing so this video is really just to to uh, show you how I did it okay thanks okay so the first stage in actually creating these holes was to make sure that I've got kind of a step up process going on because Bakelite is very 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 fragile it's very brittle it will crack very easily so really it's about starting with a very small drill and moving up to a larger drill and then finally what I've used for the final hole is uh, basically uh, a hole saw um, uh, a 20 millimeter hole saw typically used uh, you know to drill for conduits um, with a obviously with an arbor in there as well so I can I can center so it really just using a sharpie I just I just I just you know measured a um, um, a hole there so I can get a rough idea about where I want to be I can always adjust this a little bit later on but the idea is to is to is to sort of line this up roughly speaking with the with that with those slots on the inside um so that I've got a, um, a sort of a standard uh, width as you can see the ones I've cut out there I've got a sort of standard width for those particular holes so that when I put the conduit in they'll, they'll all look roughly the same okay so to drill the holes I'm going to use uh, this pillar drill it's not it's not an expensive pillar drill it's really cheap actually um, and I've adjusted and um, the base up so that there's only a couple of you know a half a centimeter or a centimeter to adjust so that I can really have a lot of control over it um, you can adjust the drill bit. This is, like I say, a cheap one. Basically, there's a little bit of wobble in it, which means I've got to really take it easy when I go through the feet. So, I'm going to drill the first one. I'm just make sure it's a bit straight. Second size, same process. time for the actual uh, hole saw and if you remember I've made the, uh, the, the hole slightly smaller than the arbor so that the arbor has to do a little bit of cutting just to go into that but then that's going to keep it hopefully as straight as possible and then this bit is really just taking it bit by bit <laughs>
because of the nature of this stuff, um, Bakelite, it tends to fill up the hole in the hole saw. So you might find you're going to have to chip that out after every two, three holes. So this is it, production process done. So I've got my holes in the patrices. I'm glad to say there's been no cracks, which is good. Um, I can just go ahead now and start fitting the uh, sockets themselves. Um, and then once again, that's what I've used.